earliest childhood memory is probably when I was three or four and I was living at my grandmother's house and I was fascinated by the blue lights on the Christmas tree and I reached up and pulled them and the whole tree upset on top of me. And I remember that causing quite a stir and a lot of mess and that's as far back as I want to remember. What was your favorite characteristic about your mom? I think her fun-loving nature and the, she had the type of personality that she never met a stranger. This story starts on a street in Front Royal, Virginia, Virginia Avenue, and I was looking out the window one day or outside, and I see this tall, slender, very erect young man, pretty cute, walk up the street, and I gave him a second look, and he had a big smile, and I found out he was a new kid in town and he was very popular in school. And we got to be friends and sort of had the same social group. And we dated a few times in high school. And we both went off to college. In the summer of my freshman year, he came barreling up to my driveway when I had a friend home from college and sort of embarrassed me acting kind of big deal. And he asked me out. Well, I had just broken up with a boyfriend at school, and I thought, good way to get back into the social thing, scene, and um, we went out. And the rest, they say, is history. So we got married and started our family shortly after. We moved from one apartment to a bigger apartment to a bigger apartment. Finally bought our first home and we were really in business. Your dad started a business of his own. He knew he had to make some man money to support this family and he had no background of any money. I think my parents were sort of mentors to him, but only in a support way, not with money. And though they did help us buy our first home, it was a challenge gift. If we could save a certain amount of money, they would match it. And that's how we got into our first home. I would say the birth of um, your dad, your two aunts, and probably your seven grandchildren <laughs> rank as some of the proudest moments.
Someone should announce that this is Christmas 19. You don't worry about that. This is Christmas 19. 83. Two hours. Let's take station work. <laughs> commercial. Turn around and wave and say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Welcome to Driggs Family Christmas. Okay. Three, four. Explain. Joanna, what it's yeah. your turn to say something. I wish you were from problems. behind the camera and come over and join Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put on the button? I'm sure. The button? Yeah, and not like. Please say Merry Christmas, Jeff. Right, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> My new present. Okay, Julia. <laughs> Julia, act like you're awake, please. <laughs> <laughs> Grandmother, say something. Merry Christmas. Okay. I'm trying to get these bodies right here on TV. Dad, you have a great body. <laughs> How you doing, Mom? Uh, well, I think I think he's very bright, and I think he because he learned at a very young age that he was going to have to take care of himself, that uh, he didn't have illusions about, you know, a, a support system behind him. He had to do it himself. Success can be measured in a lot of ways, major financially. I tend to think that success has, doesn't have much to do with money. It has to do with where you started and what you accomplished and where that beginning was. I think the most important thing is probably to getting that success is being determined and being tenacious and being thoughtful of other people. Uh, you know, the grand interference from Boo for me. Really great family, really, you know, right from the beginning. It was solid, uh, unified, stable, comfortable. We definitely had an enviable, I know that my friends all commented on what a nice family we had, that our parents were happy together, that we had happy times, we took nice family vacations. We had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I remember all my friends having a crush on dad, um, which is a little, like, great uh, a little embarrassing <laughs> like yeah yeah who you should be happy or like i don't know i thought it was funny though was him walking out and holding the dog's leg up so it would pee properly <laughs> i don't remember he, that you never know, let it off so he would go out and lift the leg up through. this is how boys pee <laughs> i can remember running away from home and that mom and dad got um helped me pack and took pictures while i was leaving <laughs> I but, can remember them wanting me to run away from home, and I stayed, and I stayed, and I stayed. That's family. I think, I think the thing is, is when he was focused on you, he was 100% focused on you. Uh, we probably all learned our sense of humor from him. Yeah, he's got a good sense of humor. My favorite things to do with my dad is to go out to dinner. Uh, if you go out to dinner with him, he likes to treat you to a lot of different foods, things you've never tried, and we always have good conversation and you can ask him about any subject and he knows something about that subject. Uh, but my favorite thing about my dad is that he never tells you how to think about the subject. He just tells you what, you know, what he knows and he lets you come to your own conclusions and make your own decisions. But I get some pretty good dance moves. Really good dance moves. I did, but I didn't learn them all from him. I mean, I have my own set, but but he's got some good ones. Most of his seem to come out of the Elvis era. That crazy leg thing. I always like to get his knees going up in front.
my height. Clearly. Probably his love of travel, finding yeah, new things, new adventures. Probably just my memory, just being able to recall a bunch of certain things and I don't know, I guess I use it on useless stuff like sports statistics, but he always seems to have a really good memory, just history, anything like that. Strength in the face of adversity. <laughs> my charm and my old school swagger. Um, probably his out of box thinking style. I inherited my good looks and my odd sense of humor. Um, I think one of his best characteristics is that he can talk to anyone. He tells really great stories. Probably his uh, will and his determination and just when you look at kind of where he came from in life and where he, what he was able to accomplish, he can't really do that without having a uh, strong will. He oozes confidence and he believes in others. Being able to get anyone he meets to believe in him and stick by and go with what he's into. Um, connecting with people, I think. No, no. No? Hell no. We were in Ireland and he was driving. We were on the road and we were in these narrow streets and basically he just hit this guy's windshield. He took it right off, but he didn't stop. He kept going. Thought we kept went for miles and this guy followed us and then he eventually just kept giving him money until like he was satisfied and that just solidifies the fact that he should be driving. Now, what it, what that tells you, you what the lesson there was, and he was trying to teach you a lesson. Money, was, solves, money solves a lot of problems. <laughs> money is the answer to it's our It's a success. universal language. It depends on your definition of what is a good driver. See, in my opinion, I'm a good driver, and I also think Granddaddy's a good driver. We both like to go fast, and we both hate side mirrors. I love watching the Masters at Granddaddy's house. I remember getting, convincing Granddaddy to put me in the car and take me down to the docks in Miami to go pick up shrimp so I could go fishing out at the house. <laughs> my opinion may be skewed, but let's be honest, he might be the best grandfather anyone could ever have. Wait. He treats all of us and uh, the respect he has for his wife and being able to be a, still a hip guy at his age and know probably more about, you know, technology and all the new trends and stuff than, uh, than I do. It's to be a grandfather a second time over with way more fun than knowing, knowing how to take care of the little guy. Who cooks better food, Boo or Granddaddy? Granddaddy. Who has a nose that looks like Granddaddy? Me. And whose feet look like Granddaddy? Me. Best Granddaddy in the whole wide world. Good times. It was. I thought the place in uh, Florida, that condo, that mm -hmm. you know, was there. Well, I don't know how old we were, but we had to have been early teens, or maybe not even that. And it was nice to have a place where we got together as family. We were uh, going to Miami when we were kids, and uh, we would get into the swimming pool, and he would just throw us what seemed like 30 feet in the air, and we all thought he was the strongest man in the world. It was just uh, always impressive. Uh, I think the favorite memory is of. Our whole family being over at the Miami house and him just uh, being a funny guy, playing with the kids, you know, acting like he's a kid and teaching us how to fish and all that good stuff.
friendship, what I love for the world is what it's worth. Um, and um, sincerity. Probably people that liked the, the same things that I like, but I think because sincerity and, and loyalty. Uh, Joanna and I love to travel and we've traveled all the way around the world more than once and we've been to some really exciting places and we're so fortunate to have been able to do that. I can only say I can only hope to be as good a grandfather and father in law as you. It has been just amazing watching the energy and enthusiasm Granddaddy puts into everything he does. And I think he just set such a wonderful example for all of us. And you know, it is amazing what you've achieved. But looking at this table, this is the real achievement. People can do what they can do and to end up with a phone call and this is where everybody is to be and everybody's here and happy to be here. This is, has to be the largest thing that you've ever done in your life. I was told early on that the ice noggle men make wonderful husbands and that has certainly proven to be true. What do you think the keys to happiness are? Marrying with grandmother. Eddie is low. Eddie is low. Are we secretly Jewish? <laughs> Why is it important to be able to touch your tongue to your nose? <laughs> my tongue to my nose. Yeah. <laughs> I think we uh, should talk about his swag. His swag. I talk about swag because I didn't know what swag was. Uh, he's a sharp dresser. Sharp. Always has yeah. been. Swishy, you mean? Yeah. Is swishy and I swag think that was the same a word thing? used once. Yeah. yeah. He's a, he, well, he has a figure for it. He's tall and thin. Yeah. yeah. He loves women across the board. Not yes. just my friends, but moms. They're, all their female friends love him. I mean, all the... His granddaughters. Everybody there is special. Yeah. One... Two, three. I love you, Dad, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. I was the apple of his eye. Yeah, yes. Yeah. But, but I was. No. <laughs> for being the guy that gets us the hookup for the best seats in the house. And I wasn't adopted, for the record. Well, uh, wait a second. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> we, we, that's why we're on both Here, sides. Let's look at the two of us yeah. together. See, see move, look, yeah. look, Dad, I don't know if the, man, sorry, the milkman might have come up and said the milkman apparently was pretty good, too. I mean, <laughs>